Hey everybody, this is Josh Cook, aka Seizures Palace, and today we're about to do Song of Week number 46, which is pretty awesome because this one was composed in Las Vegas using samples from Las Vegas. Let's check it out. All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys is the original sound samples. So let's check those out. I had a street performer by the name of The Second Spirit, who was fantastic. He was playing a Sublime cover, and I ended up using the smallest snippet of one of his guitar strums. I'm just really uh, um, trying to do more like sound design stuff from these. And, and to some extent, you'll be able to recognize some of the samples. There's some shouting. There's some jazz saxophone. I'll get into it in a minute. And by the way, if I sound sick, it's because I am. So I'm doing this anyway. Can't stop just because I'm sick. So... Uh, I this is the second spirit. So it's just that. And then I have this here. And that's a bunch of us in the bathroom. I just wanted some shouting. This is just, uh, I think it was a cement truck. A bucket drummer. And a jazz saxophonist. So let's see how those were applied into the songs. Um, a little heads up too is that I wrote this all on my laptop. I didn't actually have a keyboard. I didn't bring a MIDI keyboard. I just used the keys on the actual like typing keyboard, so to speak. Um, and because of that, I wasn't able to do like really cool chord progressions and licks and stuff. So I was kind of stuck penciling and everything or playing it off the computer keyboard. So it's, it's a fairly simple song. I'm, I'm, it's not like something I'd put on an album or anything like that, but it was just a fun experiment. So here's some of the jazz saxophone stuff. I'll just play it from the beginning for a little bit. And first of all, this Sebastian influenced intro, this sound right off the bat. That's just the construction, but looped. Here a little bit better now. And that's the forward and backward mode, whatever you want to call it. One of the sustained modes where it plays forward and plays backwards. And I was really happy that I found out that that's kind of how Savant does his stuff. And I, I just kind of stumbled upon that, which was kind of cool. I said Savant, uh, Sebastian. Been listening to way too much Savant. Um, so from the beginning, these drums were just basic drums put through trash, too. All right, so you can hear little snippets of the jazz saxophone, and it has been warped to kind of line up a little bit better with the timing. That's kind of the idea there. Uh, here we have the bucket drummer. The people talking, listen. It's like a chattery thing. I don't know. It's really weird, but it, it kind of sounded cool in the background. Listen. That sort of idea. The construction kind of sounds like a crowd. Here is the second spirits. A little snippet. These green things were the second spirits guitar hit that I was telling you about. That's it. Um, so yeah, it doesn't even sound like a guitar. It's been pitched down. I think like a, like a full octave and then refrozen. It's very, very low. If I extended this, let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> you can start to hear him singing a little bit. So it was just like, again, more of a sound design thing. Oh, I'm sorry if I keep sniffling. Um, this was kind of cool. I had to uh, resample this sound, but this is basically just... Uh, I'm going to have to explain it in a minute. It's kind of complicated. But listen. So that's kind of the idea there. You can see the reverb was automated slowly over time. What it is, is it's a sort of variation on this guy up here. And that is the word, hey, when we're all shouting, hey, brought into the sampler. And then with the sort of, not the loop forward and back mode, but the continuous loop mode in terms of the sustain mode. I wish I knew the name of these three. It doesn't really have specific names. I'm sure somewhere in the manual it will tell me, but anyway, um, 
And then I was able to kind of pitch it and layer it with this guy. But I realized over time, if I was to, this is, so imagine it's the same pitch, but if I was to take this and slowly over time open up that loop, you get more and more of, of the length of the loop. So that was kind of cool, but you can't actually automate this loop mark. So you have to kind of record it through resampling or something like that anyway. So that was another way that the hay was used. Uh, and the hay and yeah are also used here. And the two convincers on this, I think, were, um, I, I ran it through Isotope's, uh, what's it called? The thingamabob. Vocal something denoise, yeah, dialogue denoise. And that kind of helped clean up the sound a little bit. And then there's a lot of EQ, multiband compression, yada, yada, yada. Um, the reason why, this this isn't a mastered version right now. And there's a, It's actually missing a little bit of multiband compression at times because on my laptop, I have a bunch of Ozone 6 and Ozone 7 software on my PC right now that I'm on, or Hackintosh, so to speak. Um, I don't. I don't have uh, ozone 6 I just have ozone 7 so it wasn't able to open up those files so the mix is actually a bit off from what you're listening to right now but what I upload onto YouTube will be the full mix uh, and then later so we have really wish I had more time to work on this mix this is actually late it should have been like submitted two days ago so I'm gonna have to do this week's song a week like tonight or tomorrow and this isn't even this week's song week. So it's just the Vegas vacation kind of really messed up the song week. But I've stayed consistent with it, luckily. Uh, I think that's about everything. I mean, like, I could go through bit by bit all the parts of the song. But I'd rather just have you guys listen to it. I'll give you a quick few samples, so to speak. So we have this guy. Serum. You guessed it, more serum. Same thing up an octave. Guess what it is? It's serum. So... There's uh, a little bit of resampling done here, which is mostly the reverb of the saxophone. Reversed. Um, I showed you the construction, the sublime, blah, blah, blah. That's about it. I'm going to keep this real short today. So I wanted to show you guys how I ended up processing those sounds, throwing them into a song. You can see I wasn't using them all as they originally sounded. In fact, almost none of them were. I think the jazz saxophone here was closest, that is towards the beginning here. You can also see later I used it drenched in reverb. But you can also see that the saxophone, for example, I think that was one of the things that had the multiband compression on it, the Ozone 6 version, so you're seeing it's coming up as disabled. So you're not even hearing the, like, the full processed sounds that I ended up working with. But anyway, um, that's about all I want to show you guys for today. I'm going to be doing song week number... 47 very soon and it's going to be oh well, i don't want to ruin it you guys will find out anyway don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you we'll say next week peace